Why does water boil at high altitudes at lower temperatures? Everyday experience shows that water begins to boil at about 100 degrees Celsius, or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, under normal conditions. This can be observed when heating a pot of water on a stove top. However, if you heat the water at high altitudes, you will see that the water already starts to boil at much lower temperatures. On Mount Everest, for example, at an altitude of about 8,850 meters, the water boils at a temperature of around 71 degrees Celsius, or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. However, since the temperature does not continue to rise during boiling, preparing foods such as potatoes or pasta at high altitudes thus also takes significantly longer. This phenomenon, that the boiling point of liquids decreases with increasing altitude, is due to the ambient pressure. At sea level, the pressure is around 1 bar, whereas the pressure decreases with increasing altitude, and is only around 0.3 bar on Mount Everest. Explanation with the particle model The fact that the boiling point depends on the ambient pressure applies not only to water, but to all liquids. In particular, it is true that the boiling point decreases with decreasing pressure. This phenomenon can be explained with the particle model of matter. During boiling, the liquid vaporizes and becomes gaseous. During this vaporization process, energy is absorbed by the molecules in the liquid to such an extent that, due to the high speeds involved, they are able to escape the molecular binding forces of the liquid and enter the gas phase. At an ambient air pressure of 1 bar, vaporization of water takes place at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. However, if the ambient air pressure is increased, this ultimately means an increase in the number of air molecules. Significantly more air molecules now collide with the surface of the liquid. In the process, the air molecules push the liquid molecules back into the liquid so to speak. It thus becomes more difficult for the molecules in the liquid to enter the gas phase. The water molecules consequently require greater energy and thus a higher temperature in order to escape the liquid phase. For this reason, with increased ambient air pressure, a higher boiling temperature is required to vaporize a liquid. However, this also means that the molecules in the liquid can pass more easily into the gas phase at a lower ambient pressure. This in turn reduces the amount of energy required by the molecules to enter the gas phase. The boiling temperature therefore decreases as the ambient pressure drops. This therefore explains why liquids such as water at high altitudes begin to boil at lower temperatures. Pressure Cooker As just explained, the boiling point increases with increasing pressure. This is used, for example, in so-called pressure cookers to heat water to over 100 degrees Celsius. Under normal conditions, water would start boiling at 100 degrees Celsius, but then the temperature would not increase any further until all the water had vaporized at some point. However, if the ambient pressure above the water surface were to be increased, the boiling point could also be raised, thereby increasing the water temperature to over 100 degrees Celsius. To achieve such an increase in pressure above the water, a pressure cooker simply uses a lid that seals the cooker gas tight. Now, when the water vaporizes, the following happens. If the cooking pot were not closed, then the volume of the vaporizing water would expand by about 1,700 times. However, since this is not possible with a tightly closed pot, the pressure in the pot consequently increases very strongly. A pressure relief valve usually limits the pressure to a maximum of about 2 bar. At this increased pressure, the boiling point rises to around 120 degrees Celsius. As a result, food prepared in the pot is no longer cooked at just 100 degrees Celsius, but at 120 degrees Celsius. Also at high altitudes, such as on Mount Everest, a pressure cooker can be used at this point to raise the boiling temperature. Experiment The following experiment provides an impressive demonstration of the decrease in boiling temperature with decreasing pressure. For this purpose, a glass with water is placed under a vacuum chamber. A thermometer is placed in the glass to observe the temperature. The thermometer indicates a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Now the vacuum pump is switched on, and thus the pressure is reduced step by step. 
below a pressure of about 0.023 bar, one then observes small bubbles rising in the water. This is the typical phenomenon when water boils, with the temperature still at 20 degrees Celsius. And indeed, at a pressure of 0.023 bar, the water already begins to boil at 20 degrees Celsius. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching.